On June 2020, the National Board of Examiners in Autometry has announced a change in the Part 3 blueprint. Why is the Part 3 exam changing? What's being changed? Will this make it easier or harder for current autometry students? Well, stay tuned to find out. Smash that like button and subscribe to my channel to see more autometry related videos. You're watching INI Autometry. First, let's go over a brief overview of the current NBEO Part 3. It consists of four stations in which students have to rotate through. Station 1 focuses on case history, patient education, and preliminary ocular assessment. Station 2 has biomicroscopy, tonometry, gonioscopy, and punctal plugs, and also contact lenses. Station 3 only covers the rhinoscopy skills. And finally, there's station four, which evaluates BIO, dilated biomicroscopy, and non-contact fundus lens skills. As you can see, this structure emphasized on the physical aspect of clinical skills examinations. With the new blueprint, the focus has shifted towards interpreting clinical data rather than the collection of data or physical performance of skills. In total, the new exam will consist of 12 stations. All 12 stations will include a standardized patient. In 10 of the 12 stations, candidates will undergo patient encounters, focusing on patient history, clinical data interpretation, and treatment and management. Each standardized patient of the patient encounters will have a hypothetical condition that falls under the nine clinical presentation diagnoses. Each candidate will perform physical skills in the remaining two stations on standardized patients. The physical skills include gonioscopy, tonometry, biomicroscopy, dilated biomicroscopy, and BIO. This chart shows how the new exam will be weighted, breaking it down into two components, competency domain and clinical presentation. This is meant to help you on how to prepare for PEPS. That's right, I said PEPS, which stands for Patient Encounters and Performance Skills. This will replace CSE, or Clinical Skills Exam, as the new name for NBEO Part 3. For autometry students who are in their fourth year now, don't need to worry because the new exam won't be implemented until August 2022. The NBEO explained the reason for this change is due to the feedback from their stakeholders who want the exam to stay current as the profession evolves. Perhaps input was from Canada as well, since some provinces accept NBEO for licensure. The redesign of NBEO Part 3 is similar to OSCE, the Canadian version entry to practice examinations. This could pose as an advantage to Canadian trained students in which they can ask for advice from upper year students or recent graduates with experience in this type of examination. If motor skills is your weakness and you have strong knowledge in clinical skills, you probably like PEPS. If you have a hard time retaining information from studying NBO part one and two, but you do well in clinic, you probably like CSE. It really depends on the individual. At least with PEPS, you don't have to rely on good cooperation from the standardized patients as much. Well, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of this new change. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more videos.